Hi guys! Welcome back to Storytime with Gabriella, and today we're going to be reading Bambi Grows Up. Thumper the rabbit ran into the clearing. It's happened! It's happened! He shouted. The new prince has been born! The new prince has been born? cried the owl from his perch on the old tree stump. Where is he? Quick, we must all go see him. Follow me! shouted Thumper. With a flapping of wings and a pounding of furry paws, the animals chased after Thumper. Quick as the wind, they rushed through the woods to see the newborn prince. Deep in a thicket, the animals found the baby prince lying close to his mother. The little spotted fawn stared at them with big, curious eyes. Then, slowly, he stretched his front legs and started to get up. But his legs wobbled and slid out from under him. The baby prince fell flat on his stomach. A little wobbly, isn't he? Thumper asked the fawn's mother. He doesn't look like much of a prince. What are you going to call him? I think I'll call him Bambi, said the mother. The fawn stood up again. This time, he stayed on his feet. His mother looked at him proudly. Soon summer came, and Bambi was big enough to go walking with his mother. His legs were longer now and stronger. As Bambi and his mother walked under the tall trees, the fawn looked all around him. Before long, Bambi came to the green meadow. There he found Thumper playing with his sisters. Come, Bambi, shouted Thumper. Hop over this log with me. Bambi tried hard to hop over the log, but he tripped and fell flat on his chin. I think you need some hopping lessons, said Thumper. Don't worry, you'll soon learn how to do it. Thumper took Bambi to a field covered with flowers. Something black and white stuck its nose out from the midst of the blobos, blossoms. Is this a flower too? asked Bambi. A flower? I should say not, said Thumper. That's a skunk. You may call me Flower, said the little skunk as she climbed onto a rock. While they were talking, Something with fluttering yellow wings landed on Bambi's tail. Look at that, said Bambi. What a beautiful bird. That's not a bird, said Thumper. It's a butterfly. Bambi was so happy that he started to run. Suddenly, he came to a pond. Bambi curiously stared into the water. He could see another fawn down there. Slowly, he bent over to rub noses with the fawn. Brrr, the water was cold. He shook his head to get rid of the ice cold drops. Then he looked into the water again. Now, Bambi could see two fawns. Who could that second fawn be? The second fawn was standing right beside him. She stuck out a leg and shook it at Bambi. Then she said, Hi, my name is Feline. The friendly little prince went up to Feline and they rubbed noses. Bet you can't catch me, called Feline, and off she ran with Bambi close behind her. The little prince had made another new friend.
The days passed quickly and autumn came. Bambi went for a walk on the hilltop with his mother. The air was chilly and the leaves had turned red and orange. Winter is on the way, said Bambi's mother. Soon there will be no more leaves on the trees and the hunters will come. Then Bambi saw a strange, wonderful sight. Up on the highest mountain peak stood a great, big stag. The stag had huge antlers that spread out from both sides of his head. He stood there, staring at Bambi. Who is that? asked Bambi. And why is he staring at me? He is your father, answered Bambi's mother. He is very brave and very wise. Of all the deer in the forest, not one has lived half so long. That's why he is called the Great Prince of the Forest. Suddenly, Bambi heard a loud bang. Birds flew by, crying out in warning. Squirrels, skunks, rabbits, and other animals rushed past. What is it, mother? asked Bambi. What is happening? Quick, Bambi, follow me, said his mother. We are in danger. Man is in the forest. Safe in a hiding place in the thicket, Bambi lay close to his mother. Neither of them moved. Neither of them made a sound. Just beyond the thicket stood two hunters with their guns. When man comes into the forest, you must always hide, warned Bambi's mother. We are all in danger when man is nearby. One very cold morning, Bambi went walking with his mother. The ground was covered with a cold, fine, white powder. Mother, what is this white stuff? asked Bambi. It is snow, said his mother. Winter has come at last. Hi there, Bambi, said Thumper. What do you think of the pond now? Bambi stared at the frozen pond. What has happened to the water, he asked. It has a cover over it. That's ice, said Thumper. It's strong enough to walk on. Follow me. Bambi followed Thumper onto the ice. His front feet slipped one way, his back feet slipped the other way. Getting wobbly again, aren't you? said Thumper. The little rabbit grabbed Bambi's hind legs and tried to help him get on his feet. Ice is slippery, said Bambi. Time passed, and the snow disappeared. It was spring again. Bambi was growing bigger. The trees had tiny green buds, and fresh green grass covered the ground. Flower the skunk had a new family, and so did Mrs. Quail. Bambi walked down to the pond to see if the ice was still frozen. There sat Thumper on a log. Bambi lowered his head and looked into the water. I see a deer down there in the water, he called to Thumper. It's a buck with antlers. That buck with antlers is you, Bambi, said Thumper. You've been growing during the winter. Bambi was proud of his new antlers. He was so proud that he went off to show them to Faileen. But Faileen had met another young buck. Hi, Bambi, she said. This is Rano. Bambi was furious. Why was this strange deer in his part of the forest? Then without any warning, Rano lowered his horns and charged at Bambi. But Bambi stood up on his hind legs and struck at Rano with his hooves. He pushed Rano down the bank into the pond. Then Bambi came back to Faileen.
proudly, Bambi led Feline out into the meadow. As he looked up at the mountain peak, he saw his father looking down at him. The old stag, the great prince of the forest, stared at Bambi with admiring eyes. The young prince had proved himself to be a brave son. Bambi had grown up. And that is the end of the story. Have you guys ever seen the movie about Bambi? I really liked that movie when I was little, but it tells even more about the story of Bambi. But I hope you guys liked this book. Bye.